Hi, this is Michael. Today I am reviewing the Pseudotac Professional Studio Condenser Microphone. This has a cardioid pattern. I use the word professional because that's what they call it in their advertising or marketing, I should say. But uh, I am duly impressed with the sound quality of this microphone. And I'm going to give you ample opportunity to hear the quality of it as compared to the lavalier microphone, which I'm speaking into right now. We'll also check it against the condenser microphone that is in my camcorder. And, uh, and then we'll uh, compare it to the Pseudotac itself. Now this is metal construction. Uh, I actually unscrewed this because I love taking stuff apart. And uh, what I found was kind of interesting, although not surprising. Uh, but what I found when I opened this up, there's a little circuit board in here. But what's interesting is what is on the back. And what is on the back is www.maonotech.com. And they are actually the company that makes this microphone. And apparently this is a private labeled microphone. Uh, not a big deal. I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. It's just a lot of times you end up with uh, what I would consider crap and junk. And in this case, we end up with a very good quality microphone that actually has a very solid build quality. And it comes with a bunch of accessories, which I will show you right now. So these are all the accessories that come with the microphone. First of all, here is your USB cable. And it's fairly long, didn't measure it, but it's probably at least four feet long, maybe even longer. Uh, I guess this is USB-A, I'm not sure, but that's what plugs into the end of the microphone. And then of course, just a regular USB plug on the other end. This is plug and play, plug it in and it should work for you. It comes with a wind filter. All right, so you can just put that on the end of the microphone like that. It also comes with a pop filter, which is very important, and that hooks onto the uh, stand here. Now, there's nothing particularly exciting about the stand. Um, this is fairly low quality, but what is great quality is the bracket that goes with this. Now, in order to attach this to your desk, you need a bracket like this. And uh, I have had other cheap stands like this, mic stands, but they come with a really, really terrible bracket, which is usually just a, literally a piece of bent metal, uh, just a flat piece of bent metal. And as soon as you tighten it up on your table, it actually deforms the bracket, the mounting bracket. This, on the other hand, is a, a cast, probably a die cast metal of some sort, but it's actually substantial and uh, it does not deform when you tighten it. Of course, if you over tighten it, you'll probably strip the threads or something. It's not the most excellent quality, but it is definitely a step above most of the other cheap stands that I see on some other products out there. And then of course you get the shock mount for the microphone as well. And this just isolates the microphone and will help protect against if you bump the table or something from that sound getting transmitted. So I'm gonna get this all together and then we can do some A-B comparisons. All right, here we go. Here's the setup. I've got the pop filter in place and right now I am talking into the lavalier mic. And uh, so you've heard me talk on the lavalier mic for the whole time. So now I'm going to switch over to the Pseudotac mic. All right, this is the Pseudotac microphone now. And uh, this is a condenser microphone with a cardioid pattern, which means you need to be speaking in the right position on this microphone or it's just not gonna hear you correctly. So you wanna be talking into the logo, which is into the front side of the microphone. You don't wanna be speaking into the end of the microphone or off to the side of the microphone and the worst place to be is behind the microphone. So for, for whatever you do, make sure you've got the logo facing your mouth, not the other way around, or you just won't get a very good recording. So to prove that, let me just move off to the side. Now I'm just talking at a 45 degree angle right now to the front of the microphone. And here I am standing directly behind the microphone. So you can certainly hear that difference. And when I get back in the proper position, uh, you can certainly hear the sound quality difference. For the money, I do think it's a 
pretty decent sounding microphone. And uh, when you hear the difference between this and the camcorder microphone, it's uh, hands down uh, 10 times better, 20 times better sounding, 100 times better sounding than the camcorder microphone. As far as the lavalier, let me know in your comments what do you think. Do you prefer the lavalier or do you think the uh, sound tack is a decent sounding microphone? For my money, I, uh, I would buy this uh, for under $60. I don't see how you can go wrong. Uh, there are a lot of microphones in the $70 to $100 range, Bluetooth microphones that are decent quality. I think this uh, holds its own against many of them. Plus, you do get the extras, the pop filter, the, uh, the decent stand, and, you know, all in all, I think it's a pretty good value. So let's hear what the camcorder sounds like. And finally, uh, this is what I sound like just using the camcorder mic. Now, the camcorder is probably about three feet away from me right now. And uh, it's nothing special. I mean, I've never been impressed by its microphone, but uh, it serves its purpose under circumstances where I don't have an external mic of some sort. So that's it. The lavalier is actually going into my iPhone and being recorded. The pseudo-tack is being recorded by my MacBook Pro. And uh, of course, the camcorder mic is recording uh, right to the video that I'm recording right now. I'm gonna splice this stuff all together and we should have the answer. My answer already is I really like this. I think for the price, it's under $60. Uh, the quality of the build is very good. It's not what I would consider a professional level microphone by any means, simply because I just can't imagine a professional recording studio using a microphone of this price uh, point. But for a lot of people, this is gonna be a completely adequate mic and I think musicians will find it useful as well. So I hope you found this uh, review helpful. Uh, like I said, I think the components are pretty good for this price point. You can't expect much, honestly, for $60. I've got a mic stand alone that costs $200. So for less than $60, I've got a mic, a mic stand, a microphone, a pop screen, and a wind filter. And uh, it's all, it's just all working. So. Uh, you do have to be gentle with this. It's not the most robust construction, but usually once your mic stands in place, it's not something that's going to get a lot of abuse. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll answer if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.